uh, what do you hear uh, we're promoting? Re- we're representing our fleet and our podcast. Uh, yeah, I got to remember no, that. Just, just try talking to Mike. I, I represent our fleet on our podcast for Star Trek Online with my partner, who we, Rondo Mom, Fleet Mom, Fleet mm-hmm. Monkey, as I know. <laughs> and uh, while well, we do the Dark Mom Consortium, I'm Dark Thorn Cheese. And that's Obviously. your, and that's like your guild? Yeah. Is that, do they no, call it our, a guild in, 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 uh, in Star Trek? Fleet, actually, and fleet? the fleet is Strike Group Armada. It's... Okay, because I'll be straight up with you. I was a WoW junkie. I was a World yeah. of Warcraft junkie. So any MMO fleet, stuff, g- fleet guild, same I, thing. I have to like kind of compare to of to, to that. And I, I did I did play Star Trek Online. Yeah. And I've thought about fr- trying it back up. But I, I just could, And I started it when it first started. Yeah. Way back when. Well, like, I was started, 10 years ago now or something. I actually, but. She, she was in a beta. I came in really mm-hmm. a few months before Free to Play. Yeah. And it was just... Uh, yeah, I haven't played Free to Play yet at all. So... Well, I'll say this if you want. We got some machines set up. You can try it. Oh, I you get time. yeah, I might. I might come over and check it out. You bet. So, are you guys here recruiting people for your guild? What? What? How does that Actually, go? Actually, I kind of, kind of for the fleet. I'm also trying, also kind of turned into re- since turnout is not as good as the previous years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the turnout. Yeah. yeah. But it's also I'm. Tr- we just started turning into promote at the where you live stream like three, four times a week at least. Right. So. Right. That's cool. You do it on uh, on Twitch, YouTube, yeah, Twitch, Twitch. What's your Twitch channel? Uh, it's Dark Mon Consortium. Dark um, Mall Consortium. Yeah, I think it might be the Dark Mon Consortium. The we dark, got a card. Oh, the and, Dark Mom. Yeah. D a d a r k m o m. Okay, yeah. the Dark Mom Consortium, guys. Check that out I think on it's Twitch. All one word. <laughs> one word. Okay. Yeah. And there, and there, do, and you guys, do you, do you play Federation? Can you play Klingons and stuff yeah, in the you game can play, now? You can play. Cl- now you can play. Okay, there's Federation Klingons. And I'll start them at the beginning now. Right. Dominion. Oh. Original series Federation. Okay. And uh, they added in Discovery too. So the original, there's original series mixing with the, with yeah. the with the modern yeah, stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little weird. Well, minor spoiler. Alert. You start <laughs> you start in the original series era. <laughs> with, all, with all the fun Excuse there me. and then you get and then you kind of shot forward in time so right okay that's interesting so there's a storyline that goes yeah, there's a story along line. with it and so the guy, if I remember right the, I remember this there was some really cool ship to ship combat in the game still right still is yeah and, and, and how, how does that work really it's just uh well if you play uh, if you well, the engine, if I recall, is based off City of Heroes, so it's kind of their flying engine. Okay. So, so remember, there's like a you get to strategically like place around your different ships and choose yeah. torpedoes and different types of phasers yeah. and lasers. And, yeah, yeah, and that I kind mean, of you stuff. Can customize out your ship, right? A lot, right, that's so. really cool. That's really cool. Even down to a lot of appearance on it now. Yeah. So you guys have your booth it's right over here. Yeah, literally yeah. from where you guys are right now. Two tables, right? Over. <laughs> yes, I see it. I see. I see your backdrop. It's really cool. Yeah. And um, you guys are going to be here all week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Getting new people and uh, recruiting for the guild and the game, and just you're just kind of like getting the yeah. letting people know people the game's still there, right? right. Letting people know people the game's still there. Is, and, and there's a lot of people still play it. Yeah. yeah apparently there is. Yeah, that's and, good. I mean, yeah, I mean the numbers have apparently been going up, especially yeah. since COVID started. Right. Because so. you know, I know uh, the game I used to play, World of Warcraft. There, it's 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 slowly withering away. They're, yeah. they're having issues over there at Blizzard, but hey, um, everybody has issues. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. It's kind of got taken stride as far as. Do you, you play any other kind of games? I've done Old Republic. I've actually done mods for Bridge Commander way back when. Okay. Uh, I think I played some Vampire. Some, oh, I haven't played some, that in a long time. Yeah, a very long time. I used I used to have some friends that were like into LARPing that yeah. the Vampire the Masquerade stuff. That's a, that's a little goofy. I'm doing over, doing you know, <laughs> friends over live stream a couple of like a D and D game, a right. Star Trek RPG. Man, D and D is that's, that's had a huge resurgence here now, yeah, especially is. since the COVID stuff and everybody's like playing Dungeons and Dragons online. Yeah, and, they, and you don't you can play from home with your groups on yeah, on Twitch and Twitch, Skype and stuff. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. wild. So, yeah, and then yeah, Critical Role doing that same thing before that, basically just broadcasting a game. And, yeah, I think. Uh, Hey, we got a $5 super chat from uh, Backyard Tardis. I think we know what Vader needs to stream next week. I think they're wanting me to stream some Star Trek online. I might have to do that. 
Thank you. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate that five bucks, buddy. It's always, that's great. No problem. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm self-pimping. If you ever need help in points. All right. I will, I will come us. over and I will get your contact information. Yeah, we got cards for that. I, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, man. Well, one more time. Where can we find you? All right. Twitch TV, the Dark Mod Consortium. Uh, you can find us in game and basically <laughs> we got people all over the world in the fleets. Uh, just a lot of strike group fleets. Awesome. The Dark Mod Consortium. Yeah. Okay. And Star Trek Online. I'm at, I'm at, at Darkthorn. At Darkthorn. So, yeah. That's just at Twitter? Uh, no, that's actually, there's an in-game. Oh, oh in, there's, in, is there's it in-game? actually in-game messaging. So, oh, interesting. Okay. And even, all right. And mail even, so. Crazy. Yeah. Technology, man. I it's know. It's awesome. It's awesome. We're going to actually get to the Star Trek world someday. I hope, right? I hope so. I know. Beam me up. Let's get sometimes, out of here. Sometimes this world's just crazy. <laughs> it's enough. nuts. It is nuts. Yes. Sometimes this world needs a giant space amoeba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is true. This is true. Well, thank you for uh, uh, no being here, man. Kay? Hi, Kay. Sit down. How, how are you? How are you today? I am. I'm good. 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 I'm, I'm a little out of my element here. I, so. I'm not really an interviewer. This oh. is the. This is our first con. Yeah. And I'm I'm a co-host. I'm not the host. Alex is he left. Well, the thing but, about being a host is yeah, you speak about things that interest you and yes. you draw on your person. Yeah, and then you get the convo going. This is true. Mm -hmm. This is true. Yeah. So you're with the, the the Star Trek Online booth. I am with the Star Trek Online. Are, are you booth. the Dark Mom? I am the mom half of the Dark Mom. The mom half of the Dark Mom. Teaching there it is. The dark thorn. I am the mom. <laughs> um, I'm mom not just because I'm the mom, but because I used to cosplay a lot. And one year mm -hmm. I went as a can of Brondo, and everybody started calling me Brondo Mom. Okay. So I'm named after Can of Pop. Um. With, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know we were up live, <laughs> but that's fine. Um. So. Like I told him, I, I, I have I've played Star Trek Online for a little while back when it first started. Okay, Long back when back when it was for pay and, and yeah. it was it was like, and and uh, I haven't touched it since they went free to play. Mm -hmm. So how as the game as the game changed a lot when oh, they went God, free to play? Yeah. Oh my God, it's changed. Yeah. Um, well, obviously aside from the technological changes, which have really made the graphics, the sound, the motions, everything. Uh, more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. The actual game content has also really evolved. It's less episodic, it's less individual things, go kill these things mm -hmm. to accomplish that. It's now developed a lot more of storylines. Okay. There's some storylines that are absolutely amazing. So I kind of was getting out of it. I was in for a year or two. Mm -hmm. I'll give a little backstory here. I was out at a convention with my son in either 2008, 2009, and we went to the panel where they announced that the game was going into development. Uh -huh. And my son's like, Mom, 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 you're going to love this. You're going to want to play it. Yeah. So my husband and my son got me into it in 2010, and I stuck with it pretty hardcore till about 2011 yeah. and kind of lost my interest. Right. And then they came out with The Legacy of Romulus, okay. which is the first time they had this beautiful story, right. this, this heartbreaking, wonderful story intense story and it evolves over a period of time so if you were playing it when it came out not only did they have this great story but they started doing things that were really inspired so you land right. on this planet and it's you discover it you explore it and then they decide this is going to be the new Romulan homeworld and as the next couple of weeks go by the buildings are slowly being right. built so every time you go right. back I you love that, that part of the stuff with, with, in, in these games it's yeah. absolutely wonderful so this is is this canon are the stories in the game are they are they canon well, to it's really based on the reboot, you know, right. after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, mm -hmm. so they have to go out and create a new homeworld. Right. There isn't really a canon about that. Right. So, so it's making its own canon. Yeah, it is. And okay. it's, so it's, it's it's after... So it's, we're, we're, we're in the, the original timeline, not the Kelvin timeline, right? <sighs> okay, we're in the prime... The prime, the prime yeah. timeline, right. right which right. isn't the original timeline. Right. Given that little bit of leeway, yeah, we're in okay. the uh, TNG, slightly into the reboot timeline. Okay. All right, that's interesting. So as I said, so they started developing beautiful stories. That was a great storyline. They had a couple storylines that were very intricate and started pulling in historical characters. So we have mm -hmm. Sela coming in with the whole Iconian arc. Then they created some original characters like Kumarki from the Lucari. Again, brilliant character, but rather than being driven by war or acquisition, she's an explorer, she's a scientist, and probably my favorite character in wow. all of it. That's and cool. A few years ago, they had the Gamma Quadrant arc come out, which was Victory is Life. And it's, for all extents and purposes, it's Deep Space Nine Season 8. That sounds fantastic. It is. It's 
brilliant. Because Deep Space Nine's my favorite. Okay, and you get about halfway through, and there's an episode called Quark's Lucky Seven, which is Quark mm-hmm. and his family mm-hmm. meets Ocean's Eleven. Right. And you get to play not Fun just episode. as you, but you're playing as, for a moment, you're Quark, then you're Lita, then you're Rom, then you're Nog. And you get wow. to play as the different characters, which really changes out what the normal game is. But it's funny, it's well-written, and just like Deep Space Nine, everything that happens appears to happen at one level, and mm-hmm. two stories later, it's resolving in a different manner. So do, do you play, can you play in these storylines from the get-go, or do you have to get to a certain level? Because I know, like, in, in the games I played, like, like WoW, mm-hmm. the game really doesn't get even interesting until you hit level cap, you know? I, I, so. Well, I'm not going to say it doesn't get interesting, <laughs> but the first ones are really designed as an expo- expanded tutorial, and for a long time you had to play through it, and you have right. the skip option. So you can skip through stories, Okay, so can, can you, like, get to, like, level 15 and then go, oh, I'm, I'm ready for the big boys, and then push the, the skip yeah, button? If you think you're ready for if the you big boys do that, at level well, 15, sure. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know how it's set up. <laughs> But, but, but for those of us who have multiple tunes and we've done mm-hmm. the tutorials 80 bajillion times, yeah. there's ways to do it. Um, you can, and you're speaking my language right now, multiple tunes. Yeah. People go, what do you mean multiple tunes? It's like it's a character, right? Come on. Hey, I used to type out character because <laughs> I was too cool for writing out yeah. tunes and yeah. tunes. I, I had to kind of step, step back from the family MMOs for a while. I got a little bit obsessed. Yeah. 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 It's, I, it's, I just have hauled my laptop up the side of the mountain in New Zealand. Mm-hmm. I have carried it across Europe just so I can make sure I could log in and do my yeah, grindies every day. Yeah. So. This guy over here, he's addicted to the uh, phone games where you have to like log on. And, I take and, them off my phone because otherwise yeah. it's like I'm sitting in the bathroom. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to do that today. Well, that's awesome. So you guys are here at the convention just kind of promoting your 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 chapter, your guild. Yeah, kind of. Trying to get to recruit some new people, just kind of. Saying, hey, man, this game's cool. You should play it. This year, kind of stuff, right? Yeah, that's always fun part of it. This year, we're also talking a lot about our live stream. But the real okay. basis is I used to come out here to the convention. So I came out in 2016 and 2017 when the guys from Cryptic were here. And in 2017, I decided I need to suck up to these guys because I want them to know who I am. Yeah, yeah. So we, I, sponsored the booth. Oh, nice. And so we had a whole, uh, I don't know if DT showed me his picture, but we had a booth that was themed on Ryza. So we okay. had um, scenes from the game that we had blown up to be massive screens in the uh-huh. back. We had palm trees. We had tribbles every place. Nice. And our whole goal was to get Cryptic to notice us. And they did. They yeah. came over and they're like, what you got going on here? What are you guys selling? Nothing. <laughs> We're just here to talk about the game. They walk away. Somebody comes back from that later. Selling nothing, we're just here to play the game. Yeah, and we're probably, fans. Yeah, we're fans. We're, yeah, we're here because we love you. That's and then it. we came back in 2019, obviously, uh, we didn't come back in 2020, uh-huh. and we are here this year again, uh, supporting the game, letting Cryptic know That's we great. love them. That's great. And you know, if people want to play the game, we're set up to do it. If people want to talk about Star Trek or Star Trek Online, we can yeah. do it. DT is pushing our podcast, sorry, our live stream, not our podcast, yeah, because you know, we've got to do something every time we're out here for sure. Yeah, I get it. That's awesome. I think it's I think it's amazing that you guys can set that up and, and just 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 for the love of the game exactly. to, to, to be able to do it. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. So uh, one more time, where, Twitch, where's the Twitch channel at? The Twitch channel is Twitch TV, the Dark Mom Consortium. The Dark Mom Consortium on Twitch, guys. Mm-hmm. We'll probably try to find some links. Nick, write that link down for us so I we can push it later. Link. And uh, so backyard chart is here in the chat. He's he's like our he's like one of our big fans. He's like like he's gonna write a wiki for us and all really? this stuff. Cool. That's what he says he's gonna do. Dude, and, awesome. uh, and he, he he watches all of our streams. Okay. And every time somebody sits down, mm-hmm. he's he's taking notes. And then at the end of the day, he sends us an email. Sweet. Here's everybody that was on your show today. Oh my god, I love that. And I'm that. like, geez, dude, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. But yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna shot your stuff out out there. And you're you're local, right? No, I'm, no, you're not I'm, local. No, I'm. From I didn't Indiana. ask it. I'm from Indianapolis. He's from Arizona. What? Yeah. You guys come here from there. Yeah. For this. Yes. That's how you guys. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And wow. The really weird thing is when I decided we we're gonna do a booth, I kind of chatted it up on uh, the game one day, and mm-hmm. I had never met DT before that. Yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, I'll come out and help you." And go down to the entry to Rio, and I'm like, "Are you Darkthorn?" He's like, <laughs> <"Are you laughs> <your mom?"> "Nice, <laughs> nice." Do you guys do any other shows? Or just this one? Just this one. Just this one? Yeah, we will do Read Pop in Chicago next year, which is like, thank you for being around the corner. Yeah. So, yeah, my husband lives in Chicago, so it's like... Really nice. Easier. Yeah, we have a we have some friends in Chicago. Excellent. Yeah, look at look up the uh, Scarif podcast. Okay. The Red 5 Network. I actually yeah. heard of it. So. so, yep. Excellent. We're actually a member of that, of that network. Okay. 
So we're 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 like the black sheep of the group. So and, and, they, and, they're, and it's and they're all Star Wars themed mostly. Just because we're Star Trek doesn't nope, mean we don't love Star Wars. That's right. I've never understood that uh that whole thing because I've always loved both. They're completely different. Yeah. And the fans are different and you can like both guys. It's yeah. okay to be Star Trek or and I almost like love both already. Yeah. My son grew up on Star Trek, but then Star yep. Wars came out and we're good yep. with that. I don't I don't remember a time where I've never really haven't had both. Mm-hmm. Star Wars was my thing. Star Trek was something my mom introduced me to when yeah. I was very young. Yeah, and, I um, was, I think, seven when Star Trek came out. So, I mean, the first time, not this syndicated I, stuff. I, I'm 51, so I got to catch it in the reruns when mm-hmm. I was, like, five, six years old. And then yeah. Star Wars came, and Darth Vader changed my life. Yeah. And, you know, so there you have it. Yeah, I was so. young and innocent when Star Wars I know, Wars man, that was so long out. ago, right? I look, this probably sounds terrible. I had to remind myself that Star Trek The Next Generation was like 30 years ago now. I know. So when I see the actors running around and they're all gray and little little people, and I'm like, oh my God, these people are like 70, 80 years old. They are. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, well, so, yeah. My son was born the year Star Trek TNG came out. So, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, D, I don't remember how old you are. What year is this? He's we're, 33. We're He's 33. 33. Okay. Now, so it's yeah, been yeah. around 33 years. Sorry, babe. Yeah, that's all right. My kids are in their 30s too. Well, one's. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say how old they are because they'll they'll get mad at me. Because you know they're girls. And they, don't tell people how old we are, Dad. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I can hear it. I'm already in trouble. So it's it's okay. It's, it's okay to be old. <laughs> You've got two alternatives. You can be older or you can be dead. Yeah. Go for older. Yeah. Just get gray and distinguished. You know. Well, so. You know, this is my gray. Yeah. And I'll have to. It go works. Gray. It works. Go for something more fun. All right. So, Dark Mom Consortium. Dark Mom Consortium. Yes. Awesome. All right. right Thanks for stopping in. Thank you so much for having us. All we right. really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Have a great time. Have a okay. great podcast. Guys, have fun. All right. We will. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.